everyone, this is Hidney Master Hila coming to you guys with a quick reading on Gwen Stephanie and Blake Shelton. This is a quick reading on, on Gwen Stephanie and Blake Shelton. I just want to say that um, it's a lovely couple. I will say I'm not a big fan of Blake Shelton, but um, I love Gwen Stephanie, you know. She's a sweetheart, you know. She, she is, seems like, a, I believe she's an ex liberal also too. Um, I don't know <laughs> what's going on lately with me and these liberal ladies, you know, and they keep having to be bouncing up a lot of liberal um, females out here that, that I've been reading. So, um, yeah, but Gwen is such a sweet um, woman out there. She's very um, kind. You can tell she's very loving and um, she loves her family and, and things like that, you know. And um, as I say, both of them is a perfect match. She's a Gemini. She's a liberal. Um, one thing with Gemini men, they get bored very quickly. So you gotta make sure that um, they not they not get bored too quickly, you know. So I hope Gwen, you're hearing this, um, that to make sure with, with Blake Shelton, you gotta be stimulating his head. You gotta be creative. You gotta be gangster. You gotta be. You gotta bring it, you know. You can kind of you can't afford to be a Gemini woman or a man. You gotta be able to stimulate the head, you know, because they get bored very quickly. And you know, sometimes with Gemini people, you know, you get in, you get in the twin personality. You know, one may gain the nice and sweet, then one may gain the switch up. So you gain two set, you gain two personalities. You know, so all these things they have to deal with. But on paper, they are a great match um, astrology wise. But as I say, um, what I see here is that if any problems that are going to arise, is Blake Shelton is, is going to be the problem here in this relationship. If anything is to happen. Um, also, I'm predicting that I'm seeing a child. I do not know if she's going to make one. And maybe she might have something by a surrogate or something like that. But I see definitely a child will come out of this relationship that they, they, they're going to have. So most likely, as I say, I do not know if she's going to be at the child herself. But I'm seeing a child um, out of them. And I see the marriage is going to happen. Definitely, I see the marriage is going to happen. And um, Blake Shelton, he, um, he's the one that has to get it together. And I think the reason why the, the wedding keep getting put off a couple of times because a certain things pop up and I'm, and I'm not going to go into too much details like some people like to try to speculate and all that stuff no I'm not going to go into any deep um, personal stuff um, it's not my business and um, I'm just giving them a heads up but um, I see that the relationship could be solid but everything boils down to Blake Shelton there's nothing going on with it I, I see that um, Gwen is, is a very sweet, she's down to it, she likes nice things, she's very private, um, she's very low-key, you know, you know what I'm saying, she likes to, um, you can see she's the type of person, she likes to go make her money, she likes peace, she likes tranquility, she likes, you know, the outdoors, you know, she likes a lot of nice scented candles, she likes she like the good life, you know, but she's very humble, you know, and um, I see her traveling, I see Gwen, Stephanie, she'll be traveling for work, I see her definitely doing some traveling and things for work and things. So, and I see um, a, a home, most likely, I see, I do not know if they have a home together, but I see a home is going to be popping up, and I see definitely the love. You can see that they went through a little rough patch in in, 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 um, in the relationship, but I see things are getting better now, and, and because of COVID, as I told, a lot of times, um, I see a lot of relationship. If you made it through COVID right now, you know, you made it through a lot. A lot of people, it's not, some people are not going to make it through COVID. Um, a lot of relationships is, is, is when COVID done. A lot of people are gonna be moving out. Some people couldn't even take it, but uh, uh, you will see. You will see when COVID done. Um, <laughs> you will see a lot of breakups. I'm telling you, a lot of celebrity breakups. A lot of people that's holding on because it's COVID and, and everybody gonna be having sex and all that stuff. They gonna be traveling all that stuff now. And um, but definitely you'll be seeing. You guys will be seeing a lot of relationships breaking up. Wait till by spring, by the end of this year. Or maybe by the end of summer, you'll start to see a lot of um, relationships. You'll see them. Mark my words, you guys could be seeing. But but definitely, I see that um, a child, I see a lot of money um, with, with the two, two of them coming together with Gwen. I see she making a lot of money, a lot of um, business. I see like she's planting, I see her doing some business deals, and it will turn into a lot of big profits, um, definitely. And I see um, she's gonna get like um, I see that she's gonna get some kind of award or, uh, or something like that. So whatever she's doing, she's gonna get recognition for that. Some type of award what, 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 um, she's gonna get in the near future. 
I see a lot of money. I see them moving into a home. I don't know if they already have a home, but I see definitely, um, and I see a child. Definitely, um, I see a baby. So I do not know. I didn't say that in, I think in my January um, celebrity prediction, I saw a baby for them. Yeah, I said that in my January blog, um, celebrity prediction. You guys could go on the website, check it out, you know. Um, spiritualfixer.com, you click on predictions, you'll see it, definitely. And um, yeah, I saw, I saw a baby and I still see that again. And I see the love. Um, I see like there was having some some um, problems. Otherwise, you'd get married long time. You know, it, it, this this situation here looked like a situation was similar to like how Jennifer Lowe was an A Rod. Remember when I tell you guys, um, Jennifer, she never really trusted A Rod because certain things she seen and um, a lot of sneaky things was going on. Um, this is something similar, but not as bad compared to um, to A Rod. But I see that um, Blake Shelton. Definitely, um, if like if you go on tours, anything like that, she need to keep some extra eyes on him, um, especially uh, make sure that he don't drink because if he if he drink, that's when things will, will go downhill for him. So I do not know if he's drink. I do not know anything about him, but I'm just seeing. I'm just talking what I'm seeing that if he happened to, um, to to be drinking and he on tour, because a lot of women will be throwing themselves at him. You know, women don't really care, and especially now if they know you have somebody. Some women um, try to make it a business. It's like they have fun. Just because they, they, they might know Gwen might be nice and sweet. It's just to, to, to say, all right, well, you know, I could break up that that relationship now. Some women will naturally befriend, um, befriend um, Blake Shelton just uh, to say, well, yes, you know what I mean? He cheated on her. So this is Gwen Stephanie. She needs to make sure and let him know you're not playing. You're not trying to be out there in an embarrassing situation. And I see that. If Blake happened to, um, to cheat on her, that will be very devastating to her. See that the double maker go into like a depression, because knowing what is really went down in her last marriage, to her ex-husband, after you see what is really went down. But I see in this relationship, um, I hope that Blake really um, step up. But you know sometimes he, you, know, you know Gemini males, as I say, you have two different personalities that are cocky way about themselves. And uh, nothing wrong with that, but sometimes you don't want to be over cocky. You know, you can be positive, but you don't want to be over cocky because if you're over cocky, you can turn people off and then piss people off. So, um, as I say, I'm not a big fan of, of Blake Shelton, uh, but I say I like them as a couple because they look good. They look good on paper. As I say he's a Gemini, he's a, um, she's a, um, a Libra, and um, Gwen seems like she's very sweet and very down to earth, and she seems like she ready um i see that she's very very in love you know she's the type of she right now as i say you know she will take a bullet for him you know she's the type of chick right now if blake need a, um a kidney let's say if, let's say if blake happened to be sick and, and they say you know i mean she happened to be a match you know she will give him her kidney that's 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 to tell you how she really loved this man you know but he on the other hand he could be a little shaky you know but um Definitely, I think his weakness. Um, I see with, with, with Blake Shelton, his weak spot is if he going on tour, and uh, these women and him throwing themselves at him. Um, he need to be careful. He need not to put himself in in, um, in harm's way to, to embarrass his his, his, um, his fiance. And um, things will, will be okay. But if he be careless and, and, and get caught drinking. And the alcohol, you know, with alcohol and stuff and music playing, anything is anything can happen, you know. So um, definitely, I see that certain things that um, they would again married long time, but it could tell that Blake Shelton was the problem, not Gwen. That's why she kind of um, put off the, um, the wedding because Corona, no Corona, you can still go get married, you know. You see, you see Jenny Ma and Jeezy, they, they, they still went, they run, they they do this, they do the, the marriage, you know, they do something in the back, the back of the home. In Georgia and it was a beautiful wedding. I, lo I love how they look and uh, I wish them Jenny and, 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 and Jay-Z the best and I, I would love for, um, for Blake to, to, um, and Gwen to be successful you know I don't want to I want everybody to be successful you know but I'm just talking for a matchmaker and from a psychic point of view that what I'm seeing that he's the, he's gonna be the problem you know, I'm not saying that he's going to cheat on her, but he's a man, you know, and um, he will get tempted. He'll get tempted just like any other man out there, any other celebrity man out there going to get tempted. So he have to make sure 
um, Blake Shelton have to make sure not to put himself in a negative position to embarrass his um, Gwen because she's a beautiful person. She deserves the best. She 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 needs she 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 deserves to be happy just like any person out there, whether black, white, pink, blue. I don't care what color it is. Everybody deserves to be happy. I mean, not here to trash anybody, but we here just um, to talk and um, just to give like a, from a, a psychic um, insight. And from a matchmaking point of view, as I say, you know, I mean, they're a great couple on paper, but the only thing, as I say, he's the person that, um, if there's any problems, they're going to arise, they're going to be on Blake Shelton um, side. But he, he has to be careful when he's going on tours. I see that is the problems I see with Blake. If he goes on tours, and he have a tours like that, and if he started drinks, um, that is where everything will go downhill from there. So long as he don't put himself in these positions, this relationship will last. They will go on and get married. And I see a child is going to come out of this relationship and everything will go good. I see uh, moving into a home. And um, I see a lot of money, a lot of business move um, for Gwen Stephanie and Blake Shelton. And um, a lot of things will, will happen for her. And I say, sometimes when you're too sweet, sometimes the other person. You ever, you ever notice a lot of times, you guys, that you see a nice, sweet girl and she will always end up in a bad boy. You know what I'm saying? And any bad boy will take her, take her for granted. So it's a similar situation too, you know. It knows a nice um, sweet girl also too. Jordan Woods, you know. Like when I was talking about her, some people were saying, oh, I'm mean, this question. No, because I can see through a man. It's only a man can see through an next man If you want to know anything about a man, you go and ask the next man. You don't ask a woman about a man. If I want to know about a woman, I go ask, I ask her friends or I ask the next woman. It's only a woman can tell you about the next woman. I always tell you guys that. You know, you don't ask a man. No, you want to know about a man, you ask the next man. You know, simple as that. A man, men see true next, men see true men. You know, and women see true women. You have a son, you bring home a woman, his mother, his grandmother, sisters, they will know if that woman is no good. And sometimes the men, the men might get caught up. They don't want to hear nothing. The more, the more you tell a person, just keep away from that person, it's the more they're going to gravitate to that person. So sometimes you just tell them and you leave them, let them learn. So it happened to me when my grandmother told me for five years to keep away from, from a, a, a woman that I wasted five years with. But it's after when my grandmother died, then I, it's like I snap out of this shit. Yeah. Like, I was, like I was in a spell or some shit. When I was young, I, I was like 20 something years old. And they running wild back then, you know. So you ain't know no different. Um, so as much as I, I was gifted, and know certain things. I didn't really care. I was I was in love. So you learn you learn you have any more your family, everybody I, I know damn well this chick was no good, but I still you know what I'm saying no? so I understand, you know. I've been there I've been through um similar situations like that. So I could talk from experience, you know, and I could tell people that. So you know, I've been around the block, you know, so I've done it all. So um when coming to relationship as I say, you know, I dominate that. Um and I can tell you straight up if this relationship is going to last or not. As I say, this relationship is good on paper, good match, perfect match. But everything um, handles around um, um, Blake. I see that if there's anything that is going to happen is Blake is going to be the problem, not Gwen. Sweet person, but sometimes when you're too nice and sweet, people take advantage of you. And I hope that she really put on her foot with him, especially when you're going on tours and things. So you need to keep him in check. Other than that, um, things will be okay. But um i wish them all the best and let's pray for blake and um and gwen and hope that everything turns out good and hope that this baby that i see that come to fruit um whether it's my surrogate or, or whatever it is but um i definitely see a child and i wish them all the best so peace and blessings please like subscribe share and give me some likes and um please share the video thank you bye peace out